Happy Wednesday. Here we are starting with our third charts and graphs exercise. Today we have a line graph. So just like previously, we're going to follow the same directions. Always read the title, study all of the data, and make sure that you understand the meaning of the numbers. So here, we're going to use the information on this graph, this line graph, line chart, to answer the questions. So here we have an example of John's math test scores. So here we have all of the percentages of correct responses, the percent correct. And then here we have all of the different tests that John took. So we're going to use these dots and these lines that show increases or decreases to answer our questions. So let's start with the first sample. The first sample says, what was John's score on test five? So we would go to test five and we would find where the dot lands and it lands on the 90 line. So we know that John's score on test five was 90%. So remember, this is percent correct. So all of your answers that require a number should have a percent sign. So there's not a lot of room here, but I'm just gonna put it right here. John's test score was 90%. Then it says, what were John's two lowest scores? So you start from the lowest Here's the first one. We'll mark it so we don't forget. And then we're going to find the second lowest, and it's here on this line. So it looks like John's lowest scores were on test one, because that is where the first low dot is, and then test three, that's where the second one. So we would say test one, and test three. The scores were 80 and 85%. So I would put 80 and 85%. And if you wanted, you could just put 80 and 85% and not put the actual test. I noticed it just wants the scores, so 80 and 85. For the rest of these, starting from number one though, please put your answers in the answer column. And here for Wednesday, we are going over plurals. So last week, we went over plurals and we're going to go over them once again. And it says here for the very beginning exercise to write a humorous paragraph of three to five sentences using the plurals of the following words. Puppy, tomato, trout, knife, ox, piano, crash, foot, fish. The words may be in any order. So remember, humorous means funny. So you're going to take three to five of any of these words and write a funny or silly paragraph. So be creative and make sure that you're using the plural form of these words. It will be a fun practice. Then here for think, it says be ready to answer these questions when your teacher asks them. So my recommendation is don't wait for me to ask you the questions. You're just going to do your best to answer these questions on paper. You can answer them next to it or under it if you write small enough. But either way, we will be going over this on Zoom. So do the best you can looking back at the rules in the previous unit, and then we will go over it together. So here for Wednesday, we have our vocabulary word exercise. Our vocabulary words again are accelerate, decelerate, bicentennial, and centennial. And by now you should have written those down and written the definitions from the spelling dictionary so that this exercise can be easier for you. It is the same as usual, writing them, referring to the table on top or your spelling dictionary 
to sort the meaning, write the vocabulary word to complete the sentences, and then use the multiple choice here for the last four, again, based on its meaning.